I've written these down again, much to my embarrassment later. I don't write these down because I'm trying to remember. The trouble lies more in trying to forget. Artifacts of the past can become compounded into regret. What has passed me by can become badly compressed. A JPEG artifact in my mind's eye. A mental airbrush, I confess. The past isn't quite how I recall. In fact, sometimes it barely resembles the truth at all. Some days events can... Some days events can shift and dance and I struggle to keep the balance. Between what you and I remember there's a darkening void. Different sides of the same worthless coin. It seems this particular currency has fallen prey to hyperinflation of the ego. Ergo, the truth is something that nobody can ever really know. And so we fall back to the same old slam door, the unwritten law, the open saw, the tour of duty in this daily war. For what is the point in rolling over anymore? At the core of the problem lies a flaw in our personality, a raw reality that our character may not be exemplary. I tried my best, but I never really tried at all. I made sure every time I caught you that you took the fall. I've seen that man before, I swear, from the corner of my eye. He takes my hand and makes me do disgusting things. The lie has morphed into the truth and the truth into the lie, and what lingers then are just memories. Memories that are flawed and support individual causes. I can't remember half of the things that you said, but if they mattered anyway, I would have assumed that I said them. Not intentionally, for my ego is far from well fed. If anything, it is starved to the bone for attention. And chewing on these bones is all we have left. There's no skeleton key to unlock a heart that has ceased to give a damn. I've heard it all before. I'm not sure I can take another round in the boxing ring, chamber another round with shaking fingers, and load another round into this dying thing. Round and round and round we go, and this go-round that ain't so merry these days. No, I don't want to stay. I'd rather these flawed memories were deleted entirely, for I'm tired of fighting, and my buffer is full to the brim with endless screaming, and I'm out on a limb. I think they're going to operate, amputate, force this dual personality into one quantum state. I'm pissed off, I'm irate, and I'm not always right. But I compensate and edit the past. Another rewrite. You said it first, but I said it last. You gave me your worst and I took it on the chin. With all the heroics I can muster, but patience wears thin. As always, my past is infallible. Tally up the times I've been incapable of remaining in a timeline that is stable, where what has been is solid and immutable, not fluid and obscurable, a mindset less durable, mistakes that are curable. <laughs>